Hey guys, it's Liv and welcome back to another barn vlog. Now, if you've been following for a while, you probably noticed that the background I'm in is very different and you've probably never seen it before in my vlogs. And I will explain. The barn that you guys are used to seeing, the one that I previously boarded Esmeralda in, it's very old and it was very impractical. So the DSEC actually decided to renovate the whole thing and that is the new stable I'm sitting in now. I personally am so excited about this change. This new stable is so much better than the previous one. And today I'm going to be giving you a tour of it. All right, I'm really excited to show you guys. So let's get started. Since we happen to be in the feed and tag room, I guess we can begin the tour here. Just like in the old barn, we have one room that is kind of divided into two. So let's start with the feed area. Closest to me, we have a couple of hay nuts hanging on the wall. And underneath those, we have a few feed trays. And behind those, we have the table where all the magic happens. This is where we blend all the feed and cut up the treats for the horses. So there's the cutting board, which is currently in use. We also have a few sticky notes and some magazines in case you get bored. There are several pencils on here and also several supplements. So we have this Coco Soya liquid supplement and also these two uh, powder supplements. Oh, and beside those, we have a communal jar of minty sweets for the ponies. On the wall behind it, we keep our feed chart. And you might notice that there are only three horses on it. And that's because there are usually three horses that kind of rotate in between the stalls in the stable, which there are only two of. So if you want to know what I feed Esmeralda, you can read this chart. Beside the feed chart, we keep our calendar, which we use to mark down lessons, shows, and clinics and stuff like that. Over the table, there is a small shelf with a couple more supplements, a bag of treats, and some tape. And also a reminder to buy hay. And underneath the table, we have more storage with, you guessed it, more supplements. We have Biomain supplements, which pretty much all of the horses here use. We also have some cod liver oil, which is really good for the horse's coat, as well as a weight builder, an extra cutting board, a liquid treat, and some bag of treats. Me and a couple of friends actually decided to spruce up the old feed box, and it has taken its place in the corner here. So let's have a look inside. Let me just open it. So there are two different compartments and they are labeled on the lid here. So one of them is a high fat pellet and the other one is a high gain all around pellet. And under the other lid, there are two more compartments, one stud balancer and another alfalfa pellet. On top of the feed box, we keep a bottle of cod liver oil. This one is a little bit different than the other one. We also have this basket with fresh apples and vegetables. And this one gets topped off every once in a while. And the ponies really enjoy that. And then we also have some oil supplements. This one is O3 Animal Health, I believe. And some linseed oil. On the wall behind it, we keep a poster with common poisonous shrubs and trees and other plants. And these are really important because it's really easy to overlook. And especially now that it's summertime and the horses are out, we keep these as a reminder. On the side there, you see our barn rules, as well as the clock. Moving down a bit, we have, you guessed it, more feed and supplements. This one is a weight gain supplement for our horse Pigeon. And behind there, we have some more linseed flakes, I believe. In this big old bin, we keep our Rocky Mountain Crunch. This one is a staple. I used to give this to Esmeralda, but I've changed her diet a little bit, which you probably saw on the chart. On the side of the bin, we keep this other feed. It's actually unopened and I don't think anyone here has used it before. So yeah. Over the bin, we keep our medicine cabinet, which looks new on the outside, but the contents are pretty much the same. You know, there's cotton swabs, gloves, bandages, antiseptic, eye drops, deworming medicine. And of course we have a little checklist here, which is always handy. On top of the cabinet, we keep a wound coat for easy access. This is just because we use that a lot more frequently than the other stuff, so we can keep the other stuff more clean. 
Oh yeah, and on the side here we have this small medical kit that you can take on the go if you're going on a trail ride or something, and it's just really handy. So moving along, we're transitioning more to the tech room area. So here we have a little seating area where Millie the barn cat likes to sleep, and she's really cute, I'm a big fan of her. And underneath we have some storage space, we have a little basket with some boots, polo wraps, and other stuff. We also keep some magazines and some treats in there, and I also have my grooming box here. I don't have a lot in this one, so it's not really that exciting, but in case you were curious, here it is. In front of it, there are a couple of riding boots, I think these belong to my trainer, and behind there, in the corner, there is a whip. Behind here, we have several charts and pictures. We have this chart over all of the standard bits and mouthpieces. We also have a Norwegian flag, because of course. And there's also this chart over all of the basic tack. And a little picture that one of our younger students drew. On the side of the shelf here, we have a chart over a horse's weight, if it's underweight or overweight. And over that again, we keep a little prize collection of rosettes, ribbons, diplomas, and prizes in general. These, I think, mostly belong to my trainer, although I'm not actually sure. Oh, this picture is so sweet. It's from a while ago when Yulia used to do Hunters with a little Kanemara pony called Margot. That pony was so sweet, and she was pretty similar to Esmeralda, actually. She was sold a while ago, though. Okay, end of tangent, let's continue. So we have this tall shelf in the corner, full of stuff. And by the base of it, we have Millie's scratcher, and also her food bowl. In the first shelf, we keep a towel and a fleece blanket. And in the second shelf, we keep a bunch of leather cleaning supplies. And these are really handy. You can just pull them out and, you know, use them on your saddle or bridle. In the shelf over that, we have a Look It starter kit, which is mine, actually. I give it to Esmeralda. And we also have a horse magazine and a fly spray, I believe. And in the shelf over that, we have my... Sam Shield helmet, which I love so much, and I also have some treats in there. In the top shelf, there are several riding blankets, and on the very top, <laughs> if I jump up, there is a helmet in a crop, it looks like. Alright, we've covered two-thirds of the room, so now only the tack wall remains. So here we keep all of our headpieces, halters, bridles, and bits at the top, and they're really far up, I'm quite short, so... Let me, let me get a stool or something so you can see them. Okay, hang on guys. Okay, now you can see them. Starting from the right, we have a leather snaffle bit, a Waterford snaffle bit, a couple of straight rubber D-rings, a French link snaffle, a rubber pelham, another rubber French link, a single jointed rubber snaffle, and a metal elevator bit. Underneath, we keep our bridles. These are two very basic English bridles and also a hackamore. Under that again, we keep some halters, none of which are mine, but that middle one is so cute and tiny. Moving on, along the floor here, we have a bunch of boxes and crates. Here we have a grooming box that everyone can use. It's owned by the DSEC. Along with this one, this one's the same. Leaning against it, we have this red lunging whip, which also belongs to the DSEC and can be used by anyone. And here is the little crate that I stood on just a minute ago. Looking up a little bit, you can see our little girth hangers. And this is really handy. We didn't have anything like this in the previous barn. And I really like this one. It keeps the girth nice and straight. And we also have a little saddle soap and sponge and also some trail riding safety tips. Now let's have a look at our saddles. On the first row, we have this English saddle with a saddle cover on it. I believe it's a black leather saddle. Underneath that, there's a brown English saddle. And underneath that, there is a brown western trail saddle. In the second row, somewhere in there, we have a bareback girth. It's basically a surcingle with stirrups, and I really enjoy using it. Over it, we have this really, really fancy English saddle. 
I don't know who owns it actually, but it looks really nice and I'm kind of jealous. And over it is my little hunter saddle. I still really like it, it's very comfortable, but it doesn't look as fancy. So I believe I've gone through all the nooks and crannies and details of the feed and tack room. So I guess it's time to move on to the rest of the stable. Oh wait, I totally forgot about this saddle stand. Hang on. Ugh, it's heavy. All right, so this is a trail riding saddle. It's not mine, but I think it looks so cool and I'd love to have one. If I ever get into endurance riding, I'll definitely buy one of these. Anyways, let's move on to the rest of the stable. So moving towards the wash stall. Oh, hey, Caroline. Hey, what's up? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I have to go. Aw, bye Monia. <laughs> All right, that was Caroline and her fjord Monia. They're both new here. Anyways, let's have a look at the wash stall. By the corner here in front, we have another saddle stand with this lovely English saddle. And I also love this saddle pad, I love the colors. And underneath we have a grooming tote bag with several grooming stuff and a magazine. Moving in a little bit, on the wall behind the stand we have this little hanger for brooms and pitchforks, etc. Standing on the floor is a little step stool that we use as a mounting block but is currently just being used as just a, a holder <laughs> for a horse shampoo a cloth and a hoof pick. Moving on, we have the the, the poop bucket. <laughs> I don't think you really need to see that, I'm sorry. <laughs> Over that, we have a sign that says that riding helmets are required for all riders. Underneath the window here, we have a few hooks and on those hangs a lead rope, a helmet and a rope halter. Moving on to the corner over here, we just have some bathing supplies, so some horse shampoo and conditioner. Hanging from the ceiling is our bridle hook, which we use to hang our bridles that need cleaning, and Esmeralda's bridle is still there. I've yet to clean it, I really need to get to that. Moving on to the final wall, we have this bar for hanging pretty much anything. Currently there is a riding blanket and a couple of boots on it. Over that, we have a shelf with a lot of different grooming supplies, brushes, bubble wraps, fly spray, stuff like that. And under that, we keep a bucket with whips, which is very convenient after you've saddled up and just need to grab one on the go. Okay, so that was it for the cross ties area. And maybe you can spot little Esmeralda in the corner here. It's time to have a look at the stalls. Oh wow, she's taking a break from her hay nut to say hi. So Esmeralda is doing very well. She is settled in nicely and she is really enjoying her bigger stall. The previous stalls were so small, so I'm really, really happy about this upgrade. Okay, let's have a look at the outside of the stalls. So I usually keep Esmeralda's door open so she can be more social, but it does slide open and closed, and it slides so much more easily than the old one. The old ones were so squeaky and hard to pull and push. On the door, there is a bar that I usually hang her blanket on. And currently I also have this little seat covering. It's a sheepskin saddle seat cover and it's so comfortable for trail rides. In the opening of her stall, I have this cotton stall guard and I did try to just have the regular chain one, but since she's so small, she managed to escape under it. So I learned my lesson there. On the side here, we have her nameplate with her name, obviously, and my number and other information. We also have a hook with her halter on and also her morning feed here, and a carrot and a brush apparently. I guess we can step inside the stall so I can show you a bit more detail in there. Esmeralda's kept busy with her morning hay net, and on the side here on the bars, I hung a ligget, which she enjoys from time to time. On the side here is her wall feeder, and as you can see, she's a really messy eater. She has really smooshed some pellets onto the wall there. On the other side, I keep her water bucket, and on the wall behind that, she actually has a automatic waterer, but she's never used one before, so I was a bit worried she wouldn't know how to use it all the time, so I just gave her a bucket just in case. She also has a much bigger window now, which is really nice. You can see it's really dark and stormy outside. Huh. Okay, so that was Esmeralda's new stall. Now let's have a look at the second and final one. I was actually in the middle of mucking out the second stall, so excuse the wheelbarrow. 
Okay, so I'm going to introduce you to something extra adorable. Um, I don't know if you guys are ready for this. So say hello to Lillaby. So Lillaby is a little rescue pony that my trainer brought in and she's having her more experienced younger students ride her. She's coming along very well. She has been quite scared, which is to expect when she's a rescue, but she's been warming up to us and she apparently was very tired, so I'll leave her alone now. Outside of her stall, we have a fire extinguisher and also a halter, but I don't think it's hers because she's so small and that one's quite large. And she also has her name tag, of course. Oh my gosh, and apparently there's also a swallow's nest up in the corner there. I didn't notice that for the longest time. Finally, looking to the right, you can see the entrance door. And actually, that concludes it for this stable tour. The new barn isn't the fanciest and certainly not the biggest at all, but it's much more high quality and it's a lot more new and fancy than the previous one, so I'm very happy about it. So thank you so much for watching this entire video to the end. I really hope you have enjoyed it and if you did, please do remember to leave a like and also subscribe down below if you want to see more videos like this. I'm not 100% sure how many more of these vlogs I am going to be making. I know you guys really seem to enjoy them, but yeah, I'll just see how it goes. And if you haven't already watched my other vlogs, there will be a playlist on the end card of this video, so you can watch those. If you did enjoy this video, please let me know down in the comments and let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Okay, anyways, thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!